of the new Lego Harry Potter minifigure mystery bag things and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So if you guys follow my channel, you know that I do have a love for Lego. John is super into Lego. It's like it's his collection. He collects so many Legos. We have um, 14 that we picked up from Target. This was the first time that we have bought them, so we just kind of grabbed a bunch of them off the shelf without really feeling them out since we didn't need anything specific. And if we got doubles, John and I are both collecting a full series, so it will work out well. But when I was in my search for trying to find them, I managed to find literally one <laughs> at Barnes & Noble. Um, so I do have one that's already open that I'll show you guys, but then I can also show you the little um, sheet that comes with it so that you can see all of the people that we can get. But I'm really excited about this guy that we got first because it's cool. I need two of him because it is kind of a two for piece. So the first minifigure that I got is this guy. This is Mad-Eye Moody slash Barty Crouch Jr. So right now I have him as Barty Crouch. So I think that I'll just do like a a close up on everybody afterwards. I was just sitting here for a couple minutes trying to get this focus on this little guy and it's just really not happening. But um, <laughs> he comes as Barty Crouch or Mad-Eye Moody. He comes with a couple different accessories so you can make him into either. So right now I have him as Barty Crouch Jr. He has his brown hair, he has his wand, and then he has his little vial of oh, potion here in this hand. But then, if you take off his hair, you can switch his head around. Whoops. Knocking him off his little base here. You can switch his head around, pop on his blonde hair, take out his wand, give him his walking stick, and he's Mad-Eye Moody. How cool is that? go through all of the figures that we are able to get. So every bag is going to come with one of these little things so that you can see and check off who you get as you get them. So we have a Harry with Hedwig, a Hermione with Crookshanks, Ron with Scabbers, a Draco in his Quidditch outfit with a Snitch and a Broom. We have Luna with a Quibbler. We have Neville with a Mandrake. We have Cho Chang with an owl. We have Dean Thomas with a Gryffindor flag. We have Voldemort with Nagini. We have uh, Dobby with the Tom Riddle diary and a sock. We have Trelawney with a teacup. We have Cedric Diggory with the most gigantic Triwizard Tournament uh, cup. We have Professor Flitwick with a little megaphone for his singing class. We have a Mad-Eye Moody, of course, as I showed you guys before. Comes with a polyjuice potion, another piece of hair, a wand, a walking stick. Um, we have an alternate Harry in his pajamas with the invisibility coat, which I cannot even tell you how much I want that. Um, we have a Dumbledore who has a pin seat. And then when you turn it over on the back, these are all Fantastic Beasts characters. So we have Newt with a Nibbler, we have Tina with a hot dog, we have Jacob with his little briefcase full of pastries. We have Queenie with her, um, wow, that just flew right out of my brain. Whatever little uh, thing that she made, strudel? Is that a strudel that <laughs> she made? I think so. Um, oh boy, Credence, is that his name? Credence, the, the little kid, uh, kind of little kid. And then we have Percival Graves, who also turns into Grindelwald because he has an extra set of hair. Now just as an FYI, because Lego has been doing this lately and it's not cool, Lego, not cool, but Percival Graves is only one per box of minifigures. But let's get into these minifigures, huzzah! I've been waiting so long for these. So, we are opening up the first one here. We have Dumbledore. So, like I said, he comes with a pensive. Um, he's in his fancy blue robes, which are really, really nicely printed. And then he has a very fancy hat and headpiece, too. Um, so, he has a little bit of a different color wand here. He has a light brown tan color. And they are all going to come two wands per pack on this little thing, so you will always have an extra wand. This is Dumbledore. Yay, Dumbledore. Dumbledore and Moody, hanging out, doing stuff. Alrighty, so, this is 
Hermione. They have little bitty tiny legs. Now these, John is very excited for. I've learned so many things about Legos. And these leg pieces are new because usually for children, the legs are just stationary. So they don't move at all. They're just too, you know, you can't, you can't move them. They're stationary. <laughs> That's what that means. Um, <laughs> but these ones are movable. So Hermione comes with a little Crookshanks. But for whatever reason, Crookshanks just does not want to sit on this little base with her. So our next thing is, I'm thinking we got a new commander, friends. Woohoo! All right. New commander with a nippler. He only had one face. <gasps> Shut up. Hey, oh my god, I didn't even notice the picket was on him. kind of thick, this next one here, so maybe, I think this might be the, either Dobby or um, Cedric. Cedric it is! I mean, my god, how gigantic! Like, this, <laughs> this Triwizard Tournament Cup is humongous. It's so big. So there's Cedric with the Triwizard Tournament trophy, which is almost as tall as he is, on to the next one. Jacob. I do love Jacob. He's so precious, isn't he? There he is. Going to the bank. Trying to get his loan. Next up. Yay! There you go, Malfoy. Friends for life. Okay, so Draco comes with a lot of stuff. He's in his precious little Slytherin Quidditch outfit. He has broom here, his green broom. Your brooms weren't green, but hey, you know, whatever. He has a snitch, which I guess he would hold in his hand because it has a peg and not, so you can't really stick it anywhere except in his hand. So he has wands, but nowhere to hold his wand. So, I'm just not even gonna bother. So we're doing pretty well so far. See, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left to go. Only one double, which is fine because John gets one now. This is another Jacob. <gasps> Yay! Yes, 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 yes. All right, we got the Harry that I wanted in his pajamas with his invisibility cloak. I don't know why I'm singing so much, sorry. All right, so he's in his precious little pajamas. So get his head on, get his hair on. i to make sure that scar is visible. Oh, gotta get the cloak on, Katie. So the cloak is quite cool. Um, it is hollow on one side, and then it has this really neat pattern on the inside also. So I kind of manipulated it just a touch so that his it wasn't fully engulfing him, and there was a little bit of an opening here so that you could see his pajamas and see the underside. But, you know, do what you want. And then he also comes with a wand, little invisibility cloak, Harry. He's so cute! <laughs> Yay! Luna, who has some fun, cool pieces and is my favorite of the female characters in Harry Potter, so I was hoping to get her. I mean, I would get her eventually anyway, but <laughs> off the bat would be nice. She has her little skirt, and I love that they did the print of her little skirt, hopefully you guys can see, um, from the actual movie. And then you put her purse on, and then she has two faces, so she has a regular face, but she also has her spectrum specs on, which she will ever wear. Then she, of course, comes with a quibbler, naturally, because she never is without a quibbler. There's Luna. 
Lego minifigures. So I will show you guys the um, Mad-Eye Moody as the Barty Crouch Jr. Once I get through everything, I'll show you guys the other one and his two-facedness also. But we have Mad-Eye Moody for now, as well as Dumbledore there with his pensive. We have Hermione with Crookshanks. We have Cedric Diggory there with the Triwizard Cup. We have Quidditch Draco Malfoy. We have Invisibility Cloak Harry, and let's see if I can show you guys what underneath here looks like, just because it's really cool. I really like the print underneath. I think that's so, so pretty. 
but I love the hollow situation that we have going on with him. Um, here we have Luna. She has her quibbler here that she's hanging on to, like always, and her little purse and her adorable little skirt that is so movie accurate, and I love it. And then we have regular Harry here with Hedwig, which do you guys see? There's a difference between like his bed head hair and then his like I'm actually trying to look somewhat put together hair for every day. And then we have Dobby here, so he has his sock, but then he also has Tom Riddle's journal after it was destroyed. Okay, so here we have our uh, Fantastic Beasts character. So we have Percival Graves here, who is also Grindelwald. I'll show you guys that in a minute. And then we have Queenie here with her strudel. We have Jacob with his briefcase. And then we have Newt here with his briefcase and with the Niffler. And let's get inside of Jacob's briefcase if we can without spilling everything. <laughs> Might have to come back for this. And if we open up Jacob's briefcase, we see that he has a couple pastries hanging out in there so that he can go get his loan so that he can try to open up his bakery. <laughs> but that's everybody that I got for the Fantastic Beasts. So now let's see our two-faced uh, mini figures. So hold on one second. So here we have all of the ones that have two faces. So our Percival Graves turns into Green Greenwald here. We have our Mad-Eye Moody who turns into Barty Crouch Jr. And then we have Luna who is Luna. She just has a normal face with no face accessories. So I think that that's a pretty cool feature that they add on these things to kind of get a two-for-one deal. So. Very, very cool Lego way to go. All right guys, so that is everything that I have for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed opening them up. So this was an awesome haul and I'm really, 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 really stoked. Um, so exciting to actually get something that's a one in a box without even trying. That's a very exciting thing. And I'm just really excited. These little figures are very, very cool. But yeah, that's everything that I have. And don't forget if you are a Harry Potter fan, I have a giveaway going on on my July haul <laughs> and giveaway video. So I will link that down below. You can win the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive nearly headless Nick Pop. Um, he glows in the dark and he's awesome. That's everything. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching me open these guys. Uh, and definitely subscribe on your way out. I post all sorts of new fandom related videos every Tuesday and Friday on this channel. So you'll be seeing those pop right on up in your subscription feed. Thank you so much you guys for hanging out with me for a little bit today. It means so, so much to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.